Did you know that a digital planner can interact with outside apps to carry out useful actions while you are organizing your day? This is possible thanks to a little thing called a shortcut, which is basically a set of instructions that are embedded into buttons inside your planner. It's just like opening a link that will tell the iPad to do a certain thing. Today I will show you how to use all of the shortcuts included in the Princeton Organizer Split Planner. Know that currently the system only works on iPad. Although the buttons may look different, all of the versions of the PSO Split Planner include the same shortcuts and the icons are similar. The first thing you have to do is install the Printstick shortcut. You can do this by heading to your help page, which is linked to the help icon right here. Then you click where it says Install Shortcut. Click Yes. At this step, you can select the note-taking app you will be using or leave the app GoodNotes selected. Tap on Add Shortcut. That's it! The shortcut has successfully been installed on your iPad. If you have previously installed the Printstick shortcut from an older planner, please still add this new one as the previous one won't work with this new version. Once the shortcut has been installed, we can proceed to clicking on each of the buttons. These buttons will carry out each of the actions. After tapping on one of these buttons, you have to click yes to run the shortcut. The first time that you carry out an action, you will be asked whether to allow the shortcut to run. Tap on always allow, so you won't be asked again. The Apple icon will let you add an event to Apple Calendar. Simply tap to open and select the time. Whatever you have saved in your clipboard will automatically save as the event title. That means that you can first manually add the event to your planner, copy, and then click on the calendar shortcut to have the title automatically load. The arrow icon will show you your upcoming events in Calendar. If you want, you can tap on any to open and view all of the details or to modify it. The next button will help you set a reminder. Once you tap it, you will be prompted to enter what you want to be reminded of and when. Once that time arrives, the reminder will pop up here on the screen. This button links to Google Calendar, and it's the only one that will work on any device since it will open either the app or their website. Tap to add a new event to your Google Calendar. This button will open the app Stixer, where you can store and organize all of your digital stickers, widgets, or inserts. If you do not use Stixer, you can modify the shortcut to adapt it to your needs and open instead a different app, such as files or photos. Please refer to the video guide in your PSO split to learn how to do this. The following button will open a playlist dedicated to giving you calm, relaxing background music while you plan. If you have the app YouTube installed, that's what will open. Otherwise, it will be the browser. Press play and return to your planner. With this new button, you can set a timer. This is particularly useful if you want to focus on working on a single task for a particular amount of time. At the end of the timer, the alarm will sound. You can check the weather without ever leaving your planner. Click on the little cloud icon and the weather app will show you your current location's weather conditions. When you are done using any of these apps, simply slide it away. You can always tap on this little arrow to bring it back. With this button, you can add info to an existing note. In order to use the Add to Note shortcut, you must customize it. Please refer to the video guide in your PSO split to learn how to do this. I hope this video was helpful and thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Bye bye.